Welcome to the Basics of Profiling, Level 1, Create a Profiling Board. Are you new to thermal processing and specifically profiling? Has your team purchased new kick software and you need a profiler refresher? If this sounds like you, then you're in the right place. This course is designed to help you get acquainted or reacquainted with the basics of profiling. After completing this level one create a profile board course, you will be able to select location for thermocouples attachment, select the proper thermocouples, use tools and materials for attaching thermocouples, attach thermocouples to a profiling board, and prepare thermocouples for profiling. Select location for thermocouples attachment. In this lesson, we assume that the profile board has already been selected. There are many methods in which to determine where to locate the thermocouples on your profile board. This lesson provides suggestions for selecting thermocouple attachment locations. You may already have specific instructions on how and where to locate your thermocouples on a given board, but if you haven't already received instructions on where your thermocouples should be placed, here are some basic steps to follow. Find out the orientation of the board to determine which end is the leading edge. You should be able to look at the board being used in production and see which direction it is going in. This will identify the location for the RTC. If that information is not available, you must consult with engineering. The most basic selection criteria would be to identify at least three of the following locations low, medium, and heavy mass areas of the board. If you have a large board, it is best to choose locations on opposite ends of the board to ensure the thermal energy is reaching all sides of the board. Select the proper thermocouples. Make sure you are using a K-type thermocouple when profiling with your kick system. These are typically identified by a yellow colored connector. Make sure you are using thermocouples that are rated for to withstand the process temperatures that you are operating at and will not deform and possibly corrupt the profile results. Make sure that the end of your thermocouple wire near the TC bead is not twisted and has a good weld tip like the one shown here. Make sure your wires are long enough to connect your profile board to the kick profiler with about 6 to 8 inches between the profile board and the profiler. Use tools and materials for attaching thermocouples. Here are some suggested items for attaching your thermocouples to your profile board, as seen here in a kick accessory kit. Scissors for cutting the aluminum tape and capstone tape. Tweezers for helping apply the aluminum and capstone tape to the profile board. Thermocouples. Aluminum tape to attach the thermocouples to the board and capstone tape to help anchor the thermocouples to the board and secure excess wire length. Attach thermocouples to the profile board. There are many different methods of attaching thermocouples to the profile board, such as aluminum tape, high temperature solder, high temperature epoxy. We cannot show all of the methods available, but we will show one preferred method of attachment. Kick recommends the use of aluminum tape for a quick and less invasive method to attach your thermocouple to the profile board. Begin attaching your thermocouples in the method you have chosen, but don't forget to attach the air TC as shown in this video. Remember it should be placed approximately one inch off the leading edge of the board. You may already have requirements for the order in which to attach the thermocouples to your profiling board, but if you don't, one recommendation is to start at the front of the board and work your way to the back of the board from left to right as shown in this video. Make sure to record which component or location on the board each thermocouple is attached to and connect them to the profiler in that order. Cut a small piece of aluminum tape and remove the film from one side. Place the tape using tweezers to avoid contacting the adhesive with your fingers. Rub the tape in place. Press the tape firmly in place and it will conform around any components nearby, and then use the tweezers to remove the top film layer. 
If you're having difficulty getting the tape to adhere to the board, you can try cleaning the area first with a wipe and a small amount of alcohol. Alternately, you can use additional Capton tape and a method called window panning, as shown here, to ensure that the aluminum tape will not lift up. Make sure the thermocouple's wires are anchored to the board securely with Capton or another method so that they will not be pulled out of place or off the board. Prepare thermocouples for profiling. Now attach the thermocouples to the profiler, starting with the RTC first. Remember which order you attached your thermocouples to the profiling board and now attach them to the corresponding channel number of the profiler in that order. Make sure you leave enough wire length to provide 6 to 8 inches length of wire from the profile board to the profiler. You can use a high temp sleeve or captain tape to neatly tie up the thermocouple wires so they are not loose or can get caught on the oven surfaces while profiling. Thank you for watching this video. If you'd like more information on our products or have any questions, please go to our website, kickthermal.com. Thank you, and we appreciate your business.